All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, I wanted to do another video on the movie boss category team. Our boy Turles is probably going to be the next Dokkan Fest coming to Global Dokkan. His banner's not great, but his team is incredible, and he himself is also incredible. But I was able to do this type of video with the LR Goku Black family, so I decided why not do it with the LR Broly family as well. Uh, of course, you know, the tree of cards, you know, the SSR, TUR, as well as the LR. We have the big bad man himself right here, LR Broly, rainbowed. We have TUR Broly, Super Saiyan Broly, rainbowed as well. And then we have the SSR Broly right here, who is only 1% in the dupe system for me. I do have three dupes of this guy. I only need one more and I can rainbow him. I may do that. We'll see. But I, I think it's dependent on how I do in the next world tournament. Uh, they give so many orbs nowadays for coming really high in the world tournament. If I could get top 200 or top 100, that's enough to rainbow like 10 extra units. So at that point, I might rainbow a unit like this SSR Broly. This guy's pretty good. Like, for an SSR, he's probably, like, one of the better, just, like, SSRs in the game. Uh, the only thing is, obviously, he's not nearly as good as once he gets TUR or even LR, right? It, it's just that, you know, comparing this SSR Broly, he's not going to be, like, as good for the team as something like Janemba, right? Who has Fierce Battle as well as a ton of other good links. So that's really the problem with putting orbs into that Broly, is you're not really going to get the full sort of value from him running him on teams as you would for say the lr now i am very pleased by the way to be able to do this because it, i i've evolved into such a whale that like i was able to overcome all my issues in pulling but if you guys go back in time lr broly was the most difficult difficulty i've ever had in pulling a unit uh his original global banner for me was an absolute nightmare uh that was when I was more or less free to play. Uh, I'd gotten some stale stones here or there, but I hadn't really, like, ever, uh, like, you know, gone deep into, like, uh, summoning and shit. Uh, like, buying stones and stuff like that. And on his original banner on Global, I went 2,000 stones. The first 1,000 were free to play, and then I went another 1,000 pay to play and did not get LR Bully. That has haunted me for a long time until I was finally able to get him on JP. Uh, funny enough, I was able to pull LR Broly for the first time on his featured LR banner, the same featured LR banner that is about to come to Global as well. Uh, Global is now just getting to these three-year anniversary featured LR banners where there will be one for all of the uh, original OG 90% LRs, right? You got LR Gohan, LR Broly, LR Majin Vegeta, LR Goku Black, as well as LR Future Trunks. Uh, all of them uh, are going to be on featured LR banners coming soon for Global. Uh, right now, LR Goku Black is actually live. I think Trunks is after that, then Gohan, then Broly, then Majin Vegeta. So here we go, by the way. This is the rotation of Legends. We got Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. We have Super Saiyan Broly, and then we have the base form Broly. Uh, I can't imagine there is very much that would be able to survive this rotation. This rotation, all these fuckers can super attack twice. And very, you know, both my LR and the TUR are rainbowed. So it's very likely on any given rotation that one of the two of them will super attack three times. So it's very realistic that this rotation will super seven times. I Again, there's not a lot <laughs> that would be able to survive this, especially once we're, we start talking about like a rainbowed LR Broly and a rainbow TUR Broly. The TUR is able to hit quite hard. The SSR, not as much as the others, but he, he, you know, he does have a little bit of firepower in him. All three of them uh, are held back a little bit, however, by the fact that they have a flat uh, attack buff rather than a percentage. Uh, we have not yet encountered this point, but eventually, uh, even LR Broly is probably going to start weakening out a little bit uh, once we get, like, higher leader skills even still. Like, you know, if a leader skill, like, ever touches, like, 200%, well, I'm sure it will, but, you know, when it does, uh, like, LR Broly is not going to scale with that leader skill, 
as well as, say, LR Goku Black, LR Trunks, LR Gohan, who are getting percentages in their passive somehow. Uh, LR Gohan, as well, might eventually kind of have some issues because he uh, only gets a specific number of uh, damage increase per orb. Eventually, that might become outdated, but I think it's going to be much longer for LR Gohan until his passive is outdated uh, compared to LR Broly. We'll see, like, LR, LR Broly's days of being, like, the, you know, the second or third hardest hitting LR. That will end uh, sooner rather than later, I would say. Because even right now, I believe in the hardest hitting, like, LR list, it, it's separated. So, like, LR Vegito and Gogeta are not really in the same sort of section as uh, LR Broly. It's because LR Gogeta and Vegito are much easier to pull than, like, LR Broly, LR Gohan, LR Bojack. But I believe the list, it's like LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I think LR Gohan might be 2, and then is it LR Bojack 3? Or, like, no, it's LR Broly 2, Bojack 3, and Gohan 4. Some, like, uh, kind of line is that. All right, now, in this rotation right here, when Turles is here with these two Brolies, it is insanity how much damage these fuckers can put out. Like, seriously. Okay, so 1.7 million. And he has a guaranteed additional coming after that. And then, don't forget the TUR. The TUR is probably going to come close to a 1 million attack stat as well. We didn't manage to get a crit. Oh, we got an additional. And then, of course, he gets a crit right there. Uh, so, probably taking about 10k. Yeah, over a million attacks right there for the two UR. With, when Turles is around, oh my goodness. Do these fuckers dramatically increase the amount of damage they could do. This is why I'm always talking about how good Turles is. Like, he will take any unit and turn them basically into a, a good, like a much better version of themselves, right? Like, I, I love Turles. Turles fixes all problems, mends all issues. He is just phenomenal. Uh, I am I really hope, you know, Android 17 is going to be revealed in a day or two. Uh, I really hope that they're able to make 17 as relevant as they did Turles. Like, Turles is going to be good for a very long time because his buff is for all allies. It doesn't matter. Geneva just dodging supers left and right, by the way. But it doesn't matter for Turles if it's an extreme type, if it's a super type, you know, if it's an AGL type or a tech type. It, none of that matters. Turles gives the three key and 40% buff to all allies, which is going to be so good for the future. So here's Broly. He had a 400,000 attack stat, 1% in the dupe system. That's pretty fucking good. Again, him rainbowed, like... He would be very close to being able to touch a 1 million attack set with Turles on rotation. Like, for an SSR, that's pretty damn good. Like, <laughs> seriously. That's, Broly is not bad. He's not a bad unit at all. Uh, maybe some of his links aren't the best. You know, like, the SSR Broly, because he's not Super Saiyan, he doesn't really have, like, a common uh, attack link, right? Like, Berserker is a shitty link because it's only... Uh, attack 20% when HP is 50% or below. And like Saiyan Warrior Race, I don't know why they haven't updated Saiyan Warrior Race. It's still only a 700 uh, attack link. Like, really, that's got to be buffed. Like, we, we need that buffed ASAP because several really good units have uh, Saiyan Warrior Race. Like LR Broly, uh, LR Bardock, LR Majin Vegeta all have Saiyan Warrior Race. Turles has Saiyan Warrior Race, you know. So that will help out LR Broly. You know, I... For the most part, I don't like running too many of these LR Broly family units together because of their defensive deficiencies. They lower their own defense when they do super attack. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, so usually, I, like a lot of times, I don't even run the TUR if I'm going to run LR Broly. To be honest, I haven't even really been running LR Broly very much nowadays either. He is still the world tournament crusher, so I do get a lot of use out of him. But, you know, Turles having Saiyan Warrior Race will help out a lot. And, you know, Mass Saiyan, uh, in Blue Vegeta, STR, Blue Goku. There's just a lot of good Saiyan cards have Saiyan Warrior Race. That needs to be updated to a 10% attack link, I think. Um, now, once Broly gets his Super Saiyan shit going on, uh, you know, then he gets the Super Saiyan link, which is pretty easy to have that activate with a lot of other good units. 
Uh, on this category, maybe not, but I do think eventually the Dragon Ball Super movie version of Broly will have a different name than LR Broly. So you're probably going to be able to use them both alongside each other. And unless we get some sort of shafted version of the Dragon Ball Super movie Broly, like, because Kale, the Berserk Kale does not have the Super Saiyan Link, but I don't foresee that issue being a problem with the Dragon Ball Super movie Broly. That wouldn't make a lot of sense to me. I think, like, that's a unit they're going to want people to spend a lot of money on. So I think the Dragon Ball Super movie Broly is going to be, like, ludicrously powerful. I I'm, I'm predicting, like, that could be, like, the start of a new meta. Is like, you know, whatever hero beats Broly in the movie, I don't know, Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta, Ultra Instinct Gogeta, you know, whatever the fuck ends up beating Broly. Uh, I expect the dual Dokkan Fest of, you know, whoever beats Broly, plus Broly's highest power level in the movie, which could be, like, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, God Broly, any kind of crazy shit. Those two, uh, a du as a dual Dokkan Fest, really could usher in a new era uh, of, like, leader skills for Dokkan, like we could see. Uh, it is, the release of the movie is also pretty close to the four-year anniversary for JP. Uh, really, it's probably only about 45 days or so uh, before the four-year anniversary, so I, we could maybe see them delay the movie characters a little bit to maybe make them the four-year anniversary characters. Or, what I think is much more likely, uh, we could see the Dragon Ball Super movie version uh, character be like the New Year's celebration banner. Because JP always has crazy New Year banners. Like last year, STR Rose Goku Black and Tech v Vegito Blue were the New Year's banner. And uh, two years ago, uh, I can't remember, I think it was a GSSR banner like long before GSSR was really a thing. And I think I had uh, Super Saiyan Rose on that banner. I'm gonna, like, the AGL one back when he was, like, one of the best units in the game. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, find out info on that banner, because I remember that, that New Year's banner. It was, like, so spectacular. And that was also the first time they had ever dropped uh, an Elder Kai banner as well, uh, was New Year's two years ago. So that could be when we would see the Dragon Ball Super movie Broly, and I think he's going to be amazing alongside LR Broly, and at that point, it might be time to retire the TUR version of the character, as well as the SSR version of the character, then, like, they'll kind of have met their match, and, you know, you can still run them on, like, a pure Saiyan team, movie boss team, but, like, if you're going for, like, some sort of optimal build or some shit like that, uh, probably not, right? So, We'll probably go ahead and end it here. Let uh, our boy LR Broly just absolutely dominate Super Saiyan 3, uh, Angel Tech Goku. And there you go, guys. Like, Movie Boss category team just speeding along, crushing shit. Uh, even with the LR Broly rotation, uh, the only time I think you'd really, really run into trouble would be against something like Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, Ultra Instinct Goku against the Broly rotation, he would crush it. Like, you would take, like, 50k on normals from him. Uh, Jiren might be strong as well, and then I suppose like Evolution Blue Vegeta also, just because he's an AGL uh, rotation. But outside of that, the Broly uh, like family cards should be pretty good in pretty much uh, all events. But I'll go ahead and end it here. I still do love LR Broly, and again, he is still the World Tournament Crusher. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.